Hello and welcome to this new semester, this 2018 spring summer semester of uh, MACA 1320 Introduction to Photoshop. I am your instructor Brian Sorio. In front of you is our first day handout, but before we start going through this, I want to let you see me. I already made a movie, which there's me, say hello. Um, I'm going to not put my face in this movie, but this is the second movie I want you to watch before the class begins or as the class begins. It's about motivation and it's about why I do the class and it's about why as lead faculty at MACA and the originator pretty much of the program, I developed the program. Not just to have a community college that has an art program, but to have one of, of substance, of one that actually gets students jobs. Now let's go right into that, okay? And I want you to either feel free to stop this movie right now and watch the second movie and then go back to this movie. This movie that I'm playing or doing right now is to show you how to get into Canvas, how to go to the online site here and click macomb.edu and then get on to the Canvas module, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, okay? But I'm gonna play this for a couple seconds, maybe a minute or something, and just let you hear me for a second. Hi, you've seen the first two movies. This movie um, is just... I condensed, um, or I'm going to condense, the first two movies into this one movie that I'm doing for you right now. So ignore what he says. He's not very smart. Between you and me. This movie is um, something that I would like you to just sit back and relax, okay? I'm going to show you my YouTube channel, and I'm going to show you how to access all of my tutorials uh, and others, but all of my tutorials on YouTube. Maybe you might want to subscribe to my YouTube page because the tutorials are growing and growing. But not only are the tutorials growing and growing, but I'm having people from all over the world want to learn Photoshop, and you can learn long time after the semester begins. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot about grades and projects and portfolios during the semester, but let's get right into this right now. Let's pretend that I'm a new student and I want to log into Canvas for the first time. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go to the online site, like I told you, and you've signed up for the MACA 1320 class. Okay. I've sent you an email with these two links. So you may not even be on Canvas yet, even though you're watching these first two movies. But I'm going to click my Macomb. Now I'm gonna pause this so you don't see me actually log in with my password because you can see everything I'm typing on the screen. I'll type this one, but I will then hit um, my pause button and I'll be back in a second once I actually put in my password and click the sign in button. Okay, so we're back and it's trying to log into Canvas right now. So let's see if it can do that. Hopefully it will. Shouldn't be taking this long. Of course, it has to take this long because I'm actually doing a movie. I just clicked the refresh button. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, so down here on your left is your Canvas button. Do you see it right over there? I want you to click Canvas. Then if you've never been in Canvas or if this is your first class, um, I want you to read this up here if you're new to Canvas. Student Introduction to Online Learning. It even asks, are you new to Canvas? If you are, review the student login, the introduction, I'm sorry, the student introduction to online training. It shows you how to use Canvas in the learning management system. Um, it would even, it's going to even allow you to go into your module. Now I have lots of modules, of course, or lots of classes. Here's yours. So you're going to have this MACA 1320V for virtual, uh, 0803. 08 means the number of weeks, okay? And three means the section. So, um, 2018 spring, summer. So I'm going to click it. Now you're going to come up to this first page. Okay, now even though it says movie one, two, and three, I'm only going to have movie one and two. So the first day handout syllabus and the canvas introduction are really going to be your first two movies. So when you come in, this should only say movie one and two, but everything else is going to stay the same. Okay, so 
how, what do you do once you get into Canvas for the first time? I want you to look over here on the left, okay? After you download, because you can download the syllabus right here by clicking it, it'll download right to your screen, okay, right to your desktop. I want you to click Modules, because as I click Modules, um, can I say something before I actually click Modules? Down here, I actually have, for your convenience, I've listed the dates for, you know, each week, the eight weeks. I've even listed what are the important things, and that is duplicated in this down here is duplicated in the first day handout, which you'll see again in a minute as we review this, okay? So um, it has the course summary, it has all the assignments right there, it has um, everything that starts with 1, 1, 1, 3, 5, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1. Um, and I've condensed the number of assignments that are due for spring, summer versus the winter or the fall semester. But now let's click modules because that's where you begin. And now there's a lot of stuff in this general course information. You don't have to go through it all. And I would like you to watch the Brian Sorio movie. That's actually, you could consider that the third movie. This is about me and my portfolio. I want you to see where I came from. I want you to see who I am. Now I'll click it and it'll go right to that movie and then I'll just start it, but I'm not gonna play it very long and hopefully it streams. I promise I won't play it very long. So this is a movie that I created to let you know who I am, all right? And my commitment to my craft. So I'm gonna backtrack here and let's go back to the first day handout and then I again have movie one, two, and three. Now, when you go into your general course information, even though you've already seen these, there'll only be two movies, okay? So um, here are the um, example. You, I'm gonna show you what this one is. It's the student examples for the semester, but let's get right into what do you do on the very first day? How do you get into the first assignment? So the first assignment, isn't really an assignment. I want you, if you've never been in Photoshop, and I'm kind of um, anticipating or expecting that a lot of you haven't, I want you to play the Photoshop week one movie. I want you to watch it. And then just, just, just watch it. That's all I'm asking you to do, okay? And then you have to respond to the introductory discussion forum. So those two things in week one, okay? Now uh, in week one as well, you have to get into the web page assets, which is your first project. So as I'm doing this and I'm going through these modules, okay, again, over here I clicked modules. Once you get to the home page, click modules. Okay, I'm gonna go down to this module again and it's gonna say the web page assets. So let me bring up the syllabus. So let me click the Acrobat. Um, icon over here and here is your syllabus. Now let's go through this for a second and then I'll get to the first week in that web page assets um, assignment. But here are the important days. First day of class is obviously Monday. Last day for the refund if you want to drop out of the class is the 27th. I don't think you're going to want to drop out because I want you to hear something right now before I even um, go further. I'm not focused on projects. I'm actually not even focused on deadlines. I'm focused on you learning Photoshop. Photoshop is the key to this industry. Photoshop and Illustrator are so important to your growth. So I am not focused on grades, as I said. I'm focused on you turning in stuff and then returning in that stuff after you've made mistakes to get it right. And you'll see um, as I go on in the semester how important portfolios are and how well MACA is connected to the industry. But of course I'm saying no school Monday, May 28th, because that's Memorial Day. Independence Day, July 4th, okay, is um, Wednesday, July 4th. Last day to withdraw. If you're behind on assignments, please email me. Talk to me before you withdraw. Let's see if we can work something out. I'll tell you right now on the first day of class, I have made special arrangements with students to finish the assignments after the semester is over because for, you know, life happens to all of us, all right? And eight weeks is not a long time. So even though you may be enjoying the semester, you might have family commitments, you might have so many other things that are drawing you away that really aren't your fault. <clears throat> so, 
I will work with you well into the fall semester and we can work out a grade for the summer semester and then if you finish the assignments and you come to my office, which is at South Campus R115, um, we can work out something and I can do a change of grade form. Did you hear that? So um, even though it says in here in this that I am very I've written down deadlines. Let's go way ahead from here. Okay, you can read all this stuff and it's important. Um, of course, I have YouTube videos, video tutorials, da 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 da. Um, obviously, your attendance, if you don't log in to Canvas all the time, and please listen, check your emails all the time. Now, I have given you, and I've only in an emergency, would you send me a text to my cell phone? It's right there. Do you see it? Please do not call my cell phone unless I direct you to do so after you text me. But um, if you have an emergency of for whatever reason, um, and it has to be an emergency, um, or send me an email in Canvas if you're just having trouble with an assignment, and you'll hear that as this rolls on. But um, please contact me in a timely manner. Read all this really good stuff that's in here about um, how many, um, this course contains um, 11 plus modules. I said for the summer, only eight of the 11 are mandatory, okay? And again, mandatory for your full grade, all right? But let's go here. If you're having trouble in Canvas ever, just dial this number and they will help you. And if you can't get into Canvas, dial this number. If you can't even access the class, Dial that number, 877-362-2662, and they'll help you log into Canvas, okay? Thank you. Now let's get ahead and go way ahead to the assignments. We have web page assets, that's the first one. I would consider this week one, look at this, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, week eight. Now that's a lot of assignments in eight weeks. Just try, try, try to do the best you can. And don't panic if you are behind. Send me emails and talk to me, okay? Remember, this isn't about finishing these. These mean nothing if they're hurried. Please hear that. These mean nothing if they're hurried. I want you to understand why we do things, not just that we do things, okay? I think I've made my point. Week one, web page assets. Do you see it? Try to turn it in by Sunday of that week. Do you see what I wrote here? Or as soon as possible. See point deduction on page seven. So let's go back to page seven. I'm going to take away one point per day unless, unless you just send me an email and request more time. So if you send me an email saying, Brian, I'm having a really rough week. I can't get the assignment in by Sunday. I'll say, okay, go ahead, turn it in when you can. And I won't take away any points, but don't you think communication is important? I do. So please go through this. I don't need to go through this now. You know, in week two here, I have the photographic retouch. In week three, it's the image manipulation. I'll show you what these are. And you're to turn it in and go in the discussion board. It's just how you're telling me that you liked or didn't like or had trouble with the assignment. So each assignment has a discussion post. All right, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to write a book. Just tell me what you found you liked about it, okay? Or didn't or had trouble. And there's actually a four step or five step question for each discussion post that I'd like you to kind of read and respond to. Then on week four, it's the mid-semester survey along with the 3D texture. Week five is the character. I'll show you what that is. Week six is the apple. So you try to turn in the apple um, at the end of week six. Week seven is the hard object. Hard objects are like iPhones and TVs and cars. Soft objects are like food, okay? So, or people's faces. But we're gonna do a hard object. And this is where you're gonna learn painting theory. And then week eight is the tear sheet. Now, um, let me show you now, if I minimize this, here is the web page assets. So it doesn't say week one, it just says web page assets. Now, on the top of every single module here is the Dropbox. When, where you, where you get all the assets, where you get all the files, like you're gonna need the face original, you're gonna need the photography JPEG, and here are the four movies. How do you do this? Well, you 
click the first movie. There is no PDF assignments. I do not believe in PDF steps. I believe in you doing this. And I'll say this very slowly. Please follow this direction. Play the movie. The movie that I have on my screen in front of you I'm going to fast forward it. The opening so I'm going to fast forward it. Semester. It's called Let web me go to two. where you're setting up the Photoshop. The reason why I'm having you watch this Web Assets 1 movie is that I need to fix about two or three things that are in this movie. And I don't want to redo this movie because I say a lot okay. of really good things. I'm going to go into number two, which is really where you begin the movie. But watch number one first, and here's number two, which is really where you start the file. Hi, welcome to I'll fast this forward first um, lesson for the semester. So here is where you begin to Photoshop. To get the resolutions, I made a little file that I wanted you to see very quickly. Now let me and just go forward until you're doing this. One anymore. I'm going to fast forward again. This is what we're going to So let me go fast forward until I see that you're in Photoshop with a white canvas. Okay, right here. So kind of listen, right? Right here, I think, right there. Thing else. I'm going to actually put in here that it's my demo file. You wouldn't put that in there, but please. And notice whenever I put a space, I actually put an underscore, okay? So I'm going to fast forward for a second. And then right hand click inside and show it as pixels, not so as anything else. So when I do something, now let's pause it. If you have to write a couple steps down, fine. But when I do something, pause it, and then you do something. You do the same thing. Then play it. This down and let's put um, 50 pixels Pixels on the left hand side, which I'm getting close right now. Okay. So and I show you how to place to in the guides. 1150 pixels. So, so pause it when you want and then proceed. You'll get very used to doing this. In this way, you will pick up the skills so much faster, so quick, that you can hardly even believe it. And it's going to feel awkward at first, but I want you to do this. Okay. It's very important to me that you follow these steps and if you have to I know I'm repeating myself don't be so project oriented that you're battling to finish the project learn along the way if you have to do a step over again so what if you have to do the assignment again so what won't you do it better the second time if you're focused on projects this isn't math this isn't science this isn't psychology this is visual so it has to be right. And the eye knows when it's not right. So keep on going. Listen to me. More, Mr. Sorrell, right I'll there. fast forward. Command delete. It's going to fill with what we refer to down here as the background color. It's the lower right hand. So let me go backwards until you do that. Okay, now watch how I fill with the background that. color. So I'm going to click my foreground. That's the foreground color. color. Right Excuse there. It's the first me. Upper left icon. I'm going to make a gray. So you'll see, really, I clicked really on that like icon it, that right over here. And then, you know, you can click this button over color, here and enlarge it. Edit, fill. On this window, I could say foreground color, but that's a long way around. So what I have okay, to do... Okay, so it filled. So it, watch my steps. And that's so important. Now, the same thing occurs here. So when you're done watching all of these... And when you have finished your PSD file, go up to the first one, click it, and where I have the word up here, publish, see where it says unpublished or publish for me? Yours says submit. So what you're going to do is click that button, find your PSD file, and send it to me. I only want your PSD files. I don't want PDFs. I don't want JPEGs back unless I pre uh, request a JPEG. I want a PSD file and make sure your name is in there at all times. So let's go backwards. Once you do that, then you actually respond to the summary. Okay. And then you keep on going. Now the next one is the photographic retouching. And then here are the asset files. So when you click this, I want you to see that sometimes it's not going to download till you actually click here to download the face JPEG to your computer. So you might have to click into that and then click another thing to get it to download, okay? So I'm gonna go back and I'm only gonna go through these kind of quick here. So the next one after that is the image manipulation. It's the actual Jeep file. I'll show you what I did with it. Again, you turn it in here, but all the asset files are here. So you click it, it's probably a zip folder. 
then you just download it to your machine. Make sure you organize and save everything right, okay? Save everything with the right name so you know where it is on your machine and make backup files of everything. But here are all your, all your modules. The next week is the 3D textures. So if we were going to actually, let me go back into the Acrobat, here is week four. You should be around the 3D texture one by week four. What is week four? Well, if you go back to here, to the home page, there is week four right there. So week four is somewhere around um, June 11th to June 17th. So that's how I want you to progress through here. So please watch the first movie, not movie one and two, watch the first movie and then yes, watch the second movie, which will really be called the motivation movie. So um, I'm gonna show you right now what the assignments are. So let me minimize this and go into here. Here is um, my tear sheet of what all the assignments are. Okay, so this is what you're gonna create if you finish all the assignments. Look at how you're gonna create a nice tear sheet to show you all the assignments from this class. Now before I show what the students did, or I might actually not show that here, I wanna go through a folder that I should have right here. Whoops, that wasn't it. And you're gonna learn right now that it takes Brian 45 minutes to find anything. So let me see if this is it. Um, it is, but it isn't. Let me see if I closed it. I usually do close it. Nope, I don't want that one there. So I probably closed it. Let me go back to this. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's go back to, let me remember where I put it. Um, I am looking for this. Now I can't remember where I put it. See, the <laughs> don't laugh at me, please. I'll hurt my feelings. Okay, that's where I was. I have to go into here, and here they are. So here are the lesson picks. So I want you to see, um, I'm gonna open up the web page assets. So here is what, this is what I did in the movie. Here's what you're gonna do. So here is the one first assignment you're gonna do. Now you're not gonna actually create the browser window. What's neat about this assignment is you're just gonna turn in the PSD file. Nothing is gonna do what I'm having it do here unless, watch this, unless for some of you, you wanna go past what I expected or hoped for in the web page assets. This number four movie right here actually shows you how to go into Dreamweaver and make what you created in Photoshop actually work in a web browser. Do you have to do movie number four? No. You should do movie one, two, and three, okay? But um, you don't have to do web page number four. You don't have to make this, but I did. I'm gonna show it to you right there. Watch how I can click this and the link goes right to here or I can click the back button. Look at how all of these actually work. Now in the movie, don't, and don't panic right now, this is very simple. You just have to take it one step at a time. And don't be afraid to do the steps over and over again. Now, when you're all done in the semester, let me click back to this and close this. When you're all done in the semester, if you wanna go back into this one, look at how I actually populated them with all the assignments. So if you wanted to, you could do this. Now, none of these will actually here click to it, only this one does. So I just didn't go as far, but these are easy to do, okay? This is very easy to do, and you should be able to do it within the first week. Um, and you don't have to make yours look like mine. If you wanna use a different image or you wanna use a different little symbol in the background, just follow my directions in the tutorial movie and you can do that. So let me close this and go back here. Now, all I'll have to do is show you here is the file you're, you're getting for the photographic retouch. Look what we did to it. Look at how we took off all the stuff on his face, okay? We even darkened the background and we highlighted his face like you would do typically for a nice photo retouching of a CEO or a nice client. And you can see here how I left some of his teeth yellow just to show you how I can actually whiten some of his teeth. You're gonna make them white all the way across, but look at how yellow his teeth were. Look at how nice you can make them. So don't ever believe anything you see, okay? This is really what the guy started out like, and this is what we made him into. And this is um, the second one. This is the Jeep you're going to use 
if you want to use my Jeep, you can find a different Jeep. And please remember I said this, please try not to choose a white Jeep. I'll say it again, do not choose a white Jeep. I turned a blue Jeep very quickly into this Jeep. Then I put that Jeep onto this mountaintop and created an ad. That's what you're going to do. Do you have to use my Jeep? No. Should you use a color Jeep? Oh, please, yes. Please try to not use a white Jeep. Because if there's a color there already, you can turn it into a different color very quickly in Photoshop. Okay, just by changing a hue and saturation on it. But let's get to the next one. You're going to take a brick texture that I give you. You're going to take a piece of graffiti that I give you a file, just like a client would, and you're going to turn it into, whoops, I didn't actually do that one right. This is the, okay, where is my, I don't know what I did with my composite. I didn't say I was perfect, so you're going to, let me close this. Graffiti, there should be 3D organic. What did I do with it? I don't remember. It's not down there. Oh, this is very embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I kept it in this one. This is the, I'll just go back into it. This was the original. Yes, I just, for some reason, I threw it away. All right, that's actually, I can't believe I did that. So I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, and let me go ahead to this one. Let me open this one. And yes, I'm not perfect. Um, 5C 3D texture. Oh, that was there. And why didn't that do that? Let me trash this. Okay, so, oh, because I named it five character. Oh, the Will Smith one. That's, okay, that one didn't need to be there. This one was actually Will Smith original that one should have been thrown away so there we go okay i'm sorry sorry so let's go back into it you're going to take the brick you're going to take the graffiti and turn it into this and then i even show you how to go into after effects and do something pretty cool with this i don't want to show it now and you don't have to go into adobe after effects but i always try to give you a little extra okay now let's go to the next one that's the finish this is actually what i began with and this is what I turned it into. So I cut Will Smith out of that background. Then I actually put him into a fun background and did a character on him, okay? I made his ears bigger, his mouth bigger. I still hope you think it looks like Will Smith. And remember I said that. Try not to distort the original figure too, too much or else it won't look like the person, okay? So let's go ahead and this is the original apple. Let me put this in the middle of the screen. That's the original apple. Here's the one that I painted. Okay, original and painted. And that's what you're going to do. Something like that. And remember, I want things nice and curved, not linear. So a lot of you are going to have a problem with the pen tool. That's where I come in. Don't be ever afraid to send me a file that isn't finished yet. You can send me a file that you're having a problem with. I'll create a movie to send right back to you to show you how to fix the problem. That's the beauty of this class. When you are having a problem, that's when you really need me. So if you are just having no problems and everything is going great, well, life is good, right? But that's not how Photoshop works. So when you're having an issue, send me your file, tell me what your issue is. I'll send you back a fix movie the same day or so. All right, or within a couple days, and you can get right back on track. And I check my email all the time. So here is the original next one. Here is a background that I used. You can use anything you want. And here's another background that I used. And look, I made that background and I painted that iPhone. This was the original iPhone. This is the one I painted with a pretty background. And there's the other file inside there. So. How much would I get in the industry for painting that? And yes, I'm a commercial product painter, as you will see in my Brian Sorial movie. That would go for between $1,200 and $2,400. And I can do probably two to three of those a week. So it would be not a great deal to be have a six or $7,000 week, okay? So let me go ahead and let's see now. This is um, a movie poster, which is an extra credit assignment. All right, and this is a cartoon character one that is an extra credit assignment. And then there's the tear page, the tear sheet. 
So the, the semester really ends, let's go back to our um, first day handout. And the semester really ends um, on week eight with the tear sheet, but the hard object, the iPhone, is week seven. Again, you may be to week eight and you only may be through to the Apple. Don't panic. I don't care about, I mean, this is school. This is training, okay? If you're showing me effort, I'll give you more time. Yes, even after the semester is over, all right? But we'll work out something, okay? Eight weeks is a very short time. So I don't want you hurrying something just to turn it in. Did you please hear that? Don't hurry something just to turn it in. Get it right. And if you're not getting it right, send me the file. Tell me what your issue is and I'll show you how to get it right. Isn't that cool? Isn't that why we actually should be in school? So here are what some of the other students did. And I'm just gonna go through this very quickly. Look at what other, these, these are student files. These are files that students did and you can download this right from the general information. Remember up here, here is the student examples PDF, the thing we're looking at right now. So here are a couple of the students' characters, all right? Look, what, look at how horrible they did. Look at how they really hurt him, but he looks really cute. And <laughs> uh, what can I say about him, okay? And look what they did with Jackie Chan. Look at his nose, it's even bigger, that's great. Okay, so there's a couple of, <laughs> all right. This is some of the apples that were painted by students, just like you are going to do. So be excited for this class. Don't be afraid of this class. There are some of the iPhones, the students painted. Some of these were done, get ready, after the semester was over. So please watch my Brian Sorio motivation movie and then please log into Canvas and send me an email if you're having an issue and we'll work it out one step at a time, okay? I can't think of anything else that I really want to tell you. Let me um, close this, yes. And let's just go back to um, the first day handout and let's just, whoops. And let's just please um, watch um, the motivation movie, okay? This one right there, please watch this motivation movie now so you can see, I'll just fast forward it, and you can see all the things that my channel has. I even have my Sorial Illustrations. I can go there right now if you want me to, but I can go to Sorial Illustrations has a website with all the files on it. They're all there. All my advanced Photoshop, my After Effects, my Adobe Illustrator files with all the assets. See how if you go there, you can even go um, download a zip file um, just so you can see that. If I go here to Chrome and you can see Sorial Illustrations, it's S-A-U-R-I-O-L, then the word illustrations.com. There should be a link on it on the first day handout. And you can see if you click on training tutorials, you can go into Adobe Photoshop. And these are my advanced ones in here. The intro ones aren't here, okay? But if I go into my Brian Sorrell YouTube channel, and I click, let me separate my name here and I go into Brian Sorio's YouTube channel. Um, here is my YouTube channel. Uh, it's taking a minute. And here are my playlists. And you can see in my playlist, I have advanced Photoshop, intro to Photoshop. So all of my stuff, this is, a this is the actual playing in Photoshop movie that you're gonna watch. And just click, you can access it through my Brian Sorio YouTube channel or you can go right into the Canvas portal, just like we've done. And in the Canvas portal, I know I should just stop this movie, but in the Canvas portal, click your class and you should be right into your modules and you can start watching. Um, for instance, here is the same thing, the playing movie in Photoshop in the gen generic week one, okay? So um, thank you and let's continue this mission and this voyage together.